Hi, I'm Daniel Richman. And I'm Robert Judd. And we created Combat because we love trading card, card games, the rush of a close game, the strategy behind mastering card combinations, the incredible fantasy of mighty heroes battling out for supremacy, often with bets. But trading card games have many problems, including power imbalances, specifically when it comes to money, difficulty to learn, stagnation, and dead turns. We created Combat to counter these. See, one of the major problems is that money equals power in trading card games. Because trading card games to make money have to sell booster packs. And to sell booster packs, you have to have powerful rares and mythic rares. Some of these mythic rares can have the rarity of a 1 in 120. So a $90 box of magic cards only has 36 packs in it, or about 36 rares. So you need to buy 4 boxes, or $360, just to get a single mythic rare that you want. In comparison, the combat base set only costs $35, and that's it. This $35 is enough cards for four players to play nearly endless versus games. There are over 11,000 magic cards. Even in Type 2, magic that includes the last two cycles and the core set, you're looking at over 600 cards that can see play. This is daunting to learn. Even the Pokemon trading card game, which is a much more child-oriented game, has over 6,000 cards with 1,500 currently legal, and it includes an official rulebook weighing in at 26 pages. Magic the Gathering's basic rulebook weighs in at 36, and the official complete rulebook is 207 pages of tiny text, and that is entirely too much. I've playtested combat extensively with players from all experience levels. I can say that teaching my non-gaming family was fun and easy. Combat's basic rules literally fit on a single tip card. This card is in every deck and includes the class's mechanic. On the back are even beginner tips for each class. Our official rulebook, a single double-sided page. In a traditional trading card game, you would spend $20 for a couple of decks that are going to play the same almost every time. This leads to a lot of stagnation. But how do you fix the stagnation? Buy more booster packs, of course. But in Magic there are 5 colors, and in Pokemon there are 11 types. So most of the time, the cards in those booster packs aren't going to be directly useful for your deck. So you'd spend more money for the same amount of enjoyment over time. We solve this problem in combat by including four different decks, each with a unique mechanic. For instance, the priest manages their faith so that they can cast their spells, whereas a rogue curates their hands for powerful combos. Each deck includes three specializations. For instance, the fire priest can draw a card anytime they attack, so they can maintain a sustained assault. Meanwhile, a priest of light can play their healing cards as defensive abilities, so that way they can recover from their injuries faster. Dead turns. Part of the problem with a resource-based trading card game is that the resources are actual cards. 20 to 40% of your deck is dedicated to this. This means that 20 to 40% of the time, you draw a card that you can't play to do anything. They just allow you to use your other real cards. And later in the game, once you have enough of these resources, this is literally a dead turn. You've gained nothing from this turn, but you're required to have it in your deck for the game system to work. This feels bad. We've all had these turns. In combat, not only did we separate the resources from the actual cards, we made sure that every class has something they can do. Since each specialization has its own card, we're able to give unique abilities to them so that they can use them whenever they want. All the classes do have some sort of downtime, but even during your downtime, you're actively doing something. You're regenerating your mana as a mage, or you're drawing cards and gaining rage as a warrior. These are not empty turns. Though, not all cards are created equal, so you might draw that slice as the rogue. It's a little bit weaker than your reckless strike, but it's still useful, and this helps bring suspense to the draw. Man, I hope I get that defense card I need to stop my opponent from killing me this next turn. That would be great. As you can tell, we really love combat. It brings the best part of trading card games. The rush of a close game, the strategy, the fantasy, all in a simple to learn and incredibly fun package. And with your help, we're going to bring this fun, incredible trading card game-like experience to everyone. Thank you.